Well, there's a case of international intrigue targeting political dissidents here in the U.S. Newly unsealed court documents reveal some shocking allegations of stalking, spying, all on behalf of the Chinese Communist Party. The DOJ says the targets included an athlete, an artist, even a New York politician. News Station correspondent Tom Negevin is live at the federal courthouse in Manhattan. So, Tom, you know, this sounds like a Hollywood script here. Any arrests so far? Yeah, you know, five in custody as of right now, awaiting appearances in court, Nicole. And according to the criminal complaint, this was meant to be payback for those who spoke out against the People's Republic of China. The allegations read like something out of a spy novel. The feds say too often in cases of international harassment and intimidation, the victims, political dissidents usually, are too fearful to come forward. This time, they did. These cases expose attempts by the government of the People's Republic of China to suppress dissenting voices within the United States. Among those voices, New York congressional candidate and U.S. Army veteran Yang Zhang, who protested at Tiananmen Square in 1989 before escaping to the U.S. Another alleged target, 16-year-old U.S. Olympic figure skater Alyssa Liu, who learned of the plot as she was preparing for the Games last month in Beijing. Among the five charged to date, 62-year-old Fan Frank Liu, who the DOJ says is the head of a purported media company. 49-year-old Matthew Zaburis, a former Florida corrections officer, and Hyang Jason's son, a tech worker based in China. Zaburis and Liu, both living in Long Island, are in custody now, awaiting court appearances. The criminal complaint says they, and others, did knowingly and willfully conspire to act in the United States as agents of a foreign government, to wit, the People's Republic of China. All three of these cases show that if you report such abuse, U.S. law enforcement will respond and demonstrate that law enforcement was able to disrupt these plots and bring perpetrators to justice. Now, this investigation is still ongoing, Nicole. More arrests possible. We don't have too many details as of right now on what the harassment or spying entailed. The alleged victims not responding to our requests for comment on that so far. But we are being told that the suspects singled them out for harassment based on their push for things like democracy in China. Wow. Nicole? Push for democracy there. Tom, we know you'll be watching this. Thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.